Hello, this is me again for this last and final uh, up final part of this update video for April 18, 2022. And I see we left off with 1987 titles of RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video. Now we're going to one of the later ones from 1988 throughout the 1990s. And before we start, I have something to tell you. <clears throat> By 1988, RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video, they discontinued doing the, um, the open up the so, uh, right side boxes because it's getting like just too much uh, pain in the ass. You know, you know how it is. Because by then, in the, in the summer of 1988, I'll show you, they started putting like uh, slip cardboards like that. Mm -hmm. And also... Also changed in 1988, they um, they just put down like the um, the RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video logo from instead of like being right on the left, they did it. They moved into the right. One of the video releases had that during of 1988 was the um, one of the three studios of the Nux tapes. Yep, and then by that time, Magic Window was fading out when they had like. One of the last of the final Columbia cartoons. And by that time in 1988, they even have like the, I'll show you. I'm looking for the... They started to put like labels into those tapes since 1988. And one, and one of the video releases had the, uh, one of the good titles ever released in 1988 by RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video was Vice Versa with Judge Reinhold and Fred Savage, the, the kid actor. School Days with, um, directed by Stars and directed by Spike Lee Joint. Yep, the one who do, do the right thing. And all I know, Music Vision, they discontinued in 1987. Yep. By that time, some of the previous Columbia titles, they put it, they kind of distribute by uh, Good Times when it was recorded right on the LP. Like Owl and the Pussycat, The Toy, Closest Counters of the Third Kind, Neighbors, and Used Cars and many more titles. Yep. Let's start with 19, let's start with the titles that was released in 1988. Before we start, I have to get them separately. Hold on. Okay, we're going to go with the 1988 releases. Let's start with one of the classic Bob Hope movies. In 1988, RC Columbia Pictures home video release of three of the Bob Hope movies. Rotorio, Cancel My Reservation, and the, and the uh, Slip Cardboard release of, uh, of The Great Lover. Now, this is, this, is the, this is the original release of Rotorio. The fifth road picture with Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, and Dorothy Lamour. Co-stars with Gil Sondergaard and Frank Farron, The Wire Brothers, and The Andrews Sisters. And I showed you that from my previous update video when it's in a uh, in a slip cardboard of Rotorio. Thanks for the memories, Mr. Hope. Wow. Around that time when Rotorio came to home video with Cancel My Reservation, Bob Hope was still 84 and or maybe he was 85 years old in 1988. Here's what this label looks like. Mm-hmm. This tape was printed on the 37th week of 1988. That happens to be a little reprint. Yep. My other copy wrote to Rio had the different sticker label. <laughs> One of the other 1988 RCA Columbia titles I used to have on VHS was Doctor Takes a Wife that stars with Ray Milan and Loretta Young. Now we got here, stars with Peter Sellers in Only Two Can Play in 1961. This is an early 1988 release. Uh. 
Too bad the other Bob Hope movies were not released by RC Columbia Pictures Home Video, like the ones from the Hope Enterprises, like My Favorite Brunette, Road to Bally, Cancer, Mar uh, How to Commit Marriage, Private Navy of Sergeant O'Farrell, and Paris Holiday. This tape was printed it on the 12th week of 1988. This tape was printed it on February 22nd, 1988. And you know, around that time, in around mid-late 1988, RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video release of the three Suges of the Nux tapes. The first six tapes has ne one never-before-released short on every cassette, comes with two already-released shorts from the, from the previous 13 tape series from the early mid-80s. Now we got here a vintage film that was made in the 1930s at at Columbia Pictures with John Barrymore and Carolyn Burt in 20th Century. Co-stars with Walter Connery. You might know him from It Happened One Night. I played this tape. It has the opening music like they used in It, it Happened One Night. Yep. And I found out this doesn't start with the uh, a Columbia production logo. They must have switched it with the 1936 Columbia Pictures logo. This film was directed by Howard Hawks, the one who directed His Girl Friday, and he, and he directed the, uh, the original Scarface with talented Paul Muni. Here's the label. Wow. This tape was printed it on August 11, 1988, seven days after my fourth birthday. And this is the, this is the 43rd week. Yep. Fix this. Now we got here one of the finest performances of Jack Nicholson in Five Easy Pieces, 1970. Co-stars with, Car with Karen Black and Susan uh, Arch Ashbury, something like that. Was made in 1970, yep. The other movie that Jack Nicholson did for Columbia Pictures was the 1973's Last Detail. I wish I had that on VHS. I have it in beta, but I wish I had like the original 1982 VHS. Show you what this tape looks like. Mm -hmm. This tape was printed it on the 42nd week of 1988. And now we got The Stranger. That was in 1986 film. The stars with Barney Belly, Beller, and Peter Woodgrit, something like that. Made in 1986, and um, how come back then it was it was not released in late '86, early '87 on VHS? This is what the tape looks like. Printed it on April 11, 1988. That was at the time when they stopped doing like. Open up the side boxes, so they put it there. That's why they start doing like cardboards. Printed it on the 28th week of 1988. Here, here's the label, what it looks like. Also in Magic Window of 1988, they also released one of the Heathcliff episodes when it was originally released in 1985. Here's the movie called Detective with Alan Gaines, made in 1954, the same year at the studio when On the Waterfront was made and the K-Mutiny. The ones I showed you that earlier. And I like Alan Gaines. Sir Alan Gaines. Here's what this cassette looks like. Wow. This tape was printed on the 38th week of 1988. Here's the last one of the 1988 tapes, like Walk on the on the Wild Side, starring with Jane Fonda, Lawrence Harvey, and Barbara Stanwyck. It was made in 1962, at the time when Barbara Stanwyck was 57 years old. She was best known for Double Indemnity, Stella Dallas, Ball of Fire, and Sorry Wrong Number. This is, this is how Jane Fonda became a star. 
Enjoy Jane Fonda and these other film other films available exclusively from RCA Columbia Pictures home video like the Neil Simon's California Suites, uh, Caparoo, I showed you that earlier, that co-stars with Lee Marvin, the 1985's Agnes of God, that stars with stars with Mae Tilly, Fun with Dick and Jane with George Siegel, that came out in the late 70s and early 80s on video, and also another film she did for Columbia Pictures, uh, that stars with M Michael Douglas and and Jack Lemmon and Chandra Sinderman. It was a great movie. Show you what this tape looks like. They they had that like other film. Let's. Uh, yep, this tape was printed it on the thirty first week of nineteen eighty eight. Now that ends the 1988, now we're going to the year of 1989. And also for 1989 was also the year for RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video was actually changing. That was when they, uh, they discontinued doing like the, uh, the uniform packaging around late 1989. Especially for the video release of See No Evil, Hear No Evil. Starring with Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder. And Tap with Gregory Hines. And also for 1989, one of the one of the good films of 1989, just just for Columbia, was Ghostbusters 2, the sequel to the original Ghostbusters in 1984. And also for 1989, they released more of the uh, the three sequels of the Yuck series by late 1989. By RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video release of one of the popular Columbia classics. They started building like the Columbia Classics Library for the video releases like You Can't Take It With You, It Happened One Night, Mr. Smickles to Washington. Also, they also release of 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 Cover Girl with Rita Hayward and Gene Kelly, and the reissue of You Never a Lovelier, You Never Get Rich. Also, Pal Joey came to video. Yep. Even the reissue of On the Waterfront, the, uh, From Here the Eternity, the pre All the King's Men with, with Bredrick Crawford. Also, they also comes with the More the Mario Never Before release and the Picnic. The, the Columbia series started in 1989 up, up until the, up until the 1990s. Yep. They even had, like, one of the Columbia Western series released in the early 1990s. And in the in in the three sugars other nook series they had like every cassette they had they had had like three never before released shorts from volumes twenty to twenty five like from they threw Jakanga the other nooks all the way up to Nutty But Nice and other nooks. Okay, let's start with some titles like Dead Heat on the Merry Go Round that stars with James Corbin. Yep. Co-stars with Al Ray. This is an early 89 release. And also in 1989, RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video started to put like silver stick labels in those packagings. Like you have it right in the middle of the right side. And they started to put that on there. That's when they had it with the, uh, when the, uh, when 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 they had when they used it one of the thirteen of the three series thirteen volumes the other Nook series some of the Bob Hope pictures had that too. Here this tape was printed it on the twenty first week of nineteen eighty nine. It was printed it on August twelfth nineteen eighty nine. By that time in nineteen eighty nine. RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video started to have the um, um, starting to have that commercial on there. Like, can you remember every movie ever made? When I first saw that, it was on a VHS tape of The Prince of Pennsylvania. That was that was released in New Line Cinema. One of the other titles by RCA released it by New Line Cinema. It all started in 1986. When RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video uh, did distribute by one of their the New Line Cinema titles, like the first with one of the two Critters films came out in the mid late eighties. 
Then it was with Prince of Pennsylvania, my demon, my demon lover, and Touch Song Trilogy. That was from New Line Cinema. And also they they continued during like the uh, New Line Cinema releases by RCA Columbia n until like the early 90s. Like it was released with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze and the two house party films until they changed it to the new to, uh, until they changed it to New Line Cinema. I mean they changed it to New Line Home Video in the early 90s. Or in the mid 90s. Okay, we only got two final ones from 1989. Here's Lucky Stiff. That was like directed by Anthony Perkins, the one who made Psycho. Yep, that has like Donna Dixon. And, and Joe Ackley is the cartoon voice actor. On this tape, it has the Can You Remember Every Movie Ever Made and the Touch Song Trilogy promo. Will I open up this this damn tape? Pain in the ass. Got it. That's when they had like New Line Cinema and the RCA RCA Distribute. Yep, this tape was printed it on the nineteenth week of nineteen eighty nine. And then here's like True Believers, stars with James Woods and Robert Downing Jr., the one who plays Charlie Chaplin in the movie of, Ch of Chaplin in 1992. Before we start doing these two final ones, yep. Here's what this tape looks like, mm-hmm. Printed it on 21st week of 90. It happens to be like a little reprint. Now we're going to move on to, to 1990. 1990 was the, was the beginning like the new decade. And the stick label they made like for some time, like most of the times with the slip cardboard. Sometimes in the middle of the, uh, of the opening of the right side of those boxes. They starting to have that uh, stick uh, tape label since 1990, and one of the video releases of 1990 by RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video was more of the Three Stooges of the Nux series. Has like the has we with three more curlies and three three never before released Shemp shorts. Like the 26th volume of the series had uh, hold that lion with the other Nux. All the way up to the 31st volume with Curly and All the Worlds of Stooge. Yep. By that time in 1990, they discontinued doing like the, the uniform packaging. Yeah, and also they made their different packagings. Like the names of the certain films and stuff like that. They even did like the reprints of one of the previous RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video titles. In the slip cardboards like the Bob Hope movies like Rotorio... Cancel My Reservation, and Son of Pale Face. They also did, like, a slip cardboard reprint for, like, for Funny Girl, Annie, Stir Crazy, and uh, one of the two Ghostbusters movies. And Karate Kid movies. Also, the third Karate Kid came out in early 90 by RC Columbia Pictures Home Video. Yep. And then we're going, and then by 1991, something like that, late 91, they... They, they they still had RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video d distributor, and then they changed it to Columbia TriStar Home Video since late 1991. One of the video releases of of 91 or 92, they had like the Fisher King with Robin Williams and Jeff Bridges, and the other movie Robin Williams made just for TriStar with Dustin Hartman in in Hook. And by that time in 1993, uh, they also did like reissues of these of these previous Columbia titles. Yep, from from the original RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video releases when they did like the updating of the packaging by Columbia TriStar Home Video, 
like the previous three Studios 13 volumes and other Nook series. And also, in 1994, it came out with the three Studios, uh, the Columbia TriStar Home Video series. Like, instead of the volume sign or other Nook series, I had, like, picture cover of their shorts. Like, the first three Studios tape of the 90s series were a plumbing we will go. It ran from 1993 up to 1996. Until it's like all complete shorts, it finally released on video. Like all the Curlies and some Shimps. And feature late movies with Curly Joe the Reader. And by that time in 19... During of the 90s. Um, they also had the um, movies that had it in letterboxes. Like the Closest Counters of the Third Kind, The Natural, Kramer vs. Kramer, and many more titles. They put that into like the letterboxes. Also, late in the decade for the uh, for the Columbia TriStar Home Video, it did it did release of the the um, the, uh, the DVDs. Then the DVDs ran from 1997 right up to today, and by 2001, they changed the name from Columbia TriStar Home Video to Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment. Till 2005, they changed it to Sony Pictures Home Entertainment right up to today for Blu-rays and DVDs. By the by, the by in the mid 2000s, the VHSs were getting fading because DVDs was getting more popular. By 2006, they discontinued making VHS tapes. I mean, by like the video distributor, but they still made blank tapes till the end of 2008 when they stopped making VCRs. Now we got two final ones. Here's the reissue ones. Originally came out from RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video of 1986 release of Pupil. Pupil was was a reissue from the Columbia TriStar in 1993 or something like that. Show you what this tape looks like. Mm-hmm. And printed it on the 10th week of 96. And the Columbia Tricer Home Video labels were kind of different than compared to RCA Columbia Pictures Home Video labels. And here's the last one in one of those tapes. Tokyo Joe with Humphrey Bogart in 1949. Originally it came out in 1989 on VHS. However, this is a reprint. This movie came out with the other Humphrey Bogart movie like... Uh, in something with the heart thing, whatever, from 1950. Yeah. I I have that movie, but I have it down in the basement. Trying to sell it right on, right on eBay. This tape was printed on the 14th week of 2000. I was only 15 at the time. Yep. That includes all my VHS tapes of the, uh, the Columbia... Of these RC Columbia Pictures Home Video titles. Before we end this uh, this video, I got a bonus for you. Something I've been saving since Easter that I got from my parents. Here comes the surprise. And here it is. The Easter Bunny that my parents gave me comes with the, uh, the delicious uh, cupcake um, taffy. Yep. Sadly to say, this bunny doesn't doesn't wind up or anything. Like, doesn't press any buttons. It looks so fluffy and soft. This is freaking beautiful. Now we got also a bonus I got here. Uh, marshmallow chocolate eggs. Yep. I know Easter's over, but hey. Easter is just, just a good holiday, too. It comes with the frosted uh, cupcake taffy candy. Yep. Tastes so damn delicious. So that's included all the uh, things I show you for this new updated video of April 18, 2022. <coughs> we'll see you next time when, when I have more of these of the... Uh, upcoming update videos you just take care enjoy one of the seven part seven parts of this new updated video of showing you of the history of those 
of the uh, the of the uh, the Columbia Pictures VHS tapes. You just take care. Uh, I might get more of these tapes in the future when I have anything from NGM UA Home Video and anything from Warner Home Video clamshells, the Magnetic Video Corporation stuff like that. Yep. You just take care and enjoy these uh, enjoy these seven videos. And happy happy late Easter. Bye.